race, sell, junk. Over the last three years, we have covered about 20,000 to 30,000 cars on junkyards and barn finds if you add all the racetracks and everything up. So we took some of the video, some of the still pictures of all the cars we covered, and we're gonna show you four cars. The first one, you're gonna to have to pick to own, one you're gonna to have to pick and race against, one you're gonna to have to sell, one you're gonna to have to junk. So it's up to you, that's the game. All right, so they have a Firebird for sale. It looks like an 82. $3,500 it is. Looks like a stock Firebird. got like a gold color brown along the bottom a little bit of rust here and there obviously not mint but that's okay still got the bird on the hood let's see if it opens up no Looks like the car was originally red on the outside because you could see the red paint coming through. Red on the outside, red on the inside, red and black interior. This thing is in pretty, uh, I mean, it's all cracked and everything. Missing part of the door, seats are ripped. 3,700 bucks. They said it runs and drives good. So this is a 73 Mustang. What's it got? 302. My cousin Andy, he has one of these that he's working on. This Eldorado is here. Look at this. Look at this Cadillac Eldorado. It is just a beautiful car. Looks like Survivor paint, hidden headlights. Of course, the vinyl roof has been redone. Original emblems, two doors. Got a white interior. Just look at that car.
back off wheel hubcaps. Do not know what the engine is on this one. It is a V8, but it does not say Hemi. So I'm assuming it's not a Hemi. It's got the hidden headlights on it. saying it is a 396 SS original 396 SS but I don't know my tag but yellow yellow so it is yellow yellow I don't think it came with the strike It just has the standard Camaro door panel, so if it was an SS, it should say SS in there, and it should say SS somewhere on there, and it does not say Super Sport. And it's been repainted a little bit, that's okay. It's the original color. Wow. That air conditioning, it's an automatic modern stereo in it. I'm gonna go in and ask about it. They got all kinds of cool stuff in here. So, this thing had come from up north. Uh, I didn't know a whole lot about the car. The history of it was that it had been drag raced a lot. Um, over the years, they had changed out motor transmissions and rear and it had been through a multitude of changes. Um, I love automobiles, I love cars, I love to drive fast cars. Um, this just sort of fit the bill. This is an original 1970 GTO. It is a 12 volt. So it's a 12 volt meter. What's the that that was the original 12-volt years. It, it 
have a multi pool speed. From the back, so 12 volt, 4 speed, 450. So that was 1970 the original. 1970 was the first year you could get a GTO. This is a Vintag Correct GTO. It's not a hybrid or it's not something that made it up. Right. This is a Vintag Correct. Oh, I love the. In, in well, that the was my first. That was my first attempt at airbrush. As I said, I saw it under the paint. That's under the, that's under the clear. So, that was my very first attempt. I painted the car by the garage. Oh, okay. um, so it's a little bit dirty right now, for heaven's sakes, but uh, I did paint the car in my garage. It took me about four days to paint it. It took me a year to do the body. Uh, come to find out that these northern cars have a lot of rust. That's a new roof skin. You mean weight reduction? Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you color that, but this is a new hood. That's a new roof skin. That's a new trunk deck. That's a new fender, complete from the door back. Uh, there are patchwork and, and metal work that I've done on that fender. Two spots on each door, both doors. Uh, amazing amount of welding. But it came out okay. We're happy with it. Yeah, it looks great in the sun. The fact is, it's a lot of internal in stuff that we try to keep that rust down. Yeah, it looks great in the sun. You got a lot it's of nice custom show gauges show in here as well. Nice show yeah. Uh, so we had to replace a lot of the gauges. So I've made it, it is no longer a original 1970 GTO, but it is mine. There's not another one like it out there. Currently, I'm running a 373 rear end. Okay. Richmond Gears. Can we see under the hood? Yeah. All right. So, Richmond Gears, it's got ladder bars. The transmission I rebuilt is a Muncie Super Case, uh, four speed, so it can handle close to 1,000 um, horsepower. Oh, wow. That's the last motor that we built for it. And what that is the 455 cubic inch block at 60 over now, so it's 469. That uh, was completely redone as a Butler uh, balanced blue printed roller motor with metal block heads. It makes just shy of 600 horsepower on the motor. 